Oh, we've wanted one of these. Look at this. So some of you have been asking for an update on our $300 a month grocery budget <clears throat> and um, so today I'm just going to tell you a little bit about how that's gone for us and what, how we're feeling. You know, it's been two months now. Uh, we're just entering our third month of like super budget grocery shopping. and. Um, when I can, where I can say that the $300 a month budget, it works, but I feel like, um, I feel like we're pulling from other budget areas towards the end of the month to like supplement, um, things that we're, uh, running out of. So I don't know if it's really just like <laughs> poor planning on my part or if it truly just isn't enough for a family of seven that have five boys. Um, I just can't bring myself every day to tell my boys, um, no, you can't have an apple because you had a banana today. Um, they're wanting to eat fruit. They're wanting to eat things that are good for them. And we literally go through a bag of apples in one day or an entire bunch and a half of bananas in one day. Um, and I just can't, um, I can't justify taking healthy things like that out of the budget. Yes, I'm purchasing them uh, at cheaper prices by going to places like Aldi. Um, and I, I'm not buying organic anymore unless the organic price is very similar to the conventional price, I will buy organics. Um, but for the most part, <clears throat> I'm just uh, washing stuff and, and just trusting that the Lord is blessing because we're giving thanks. And that's what His Word says, you know, um, that God is going to bless whatever you give thanks for. And so we're trying to be very thankful for this small budget that we have. And it's not like we're not doing this to be extreme or starve our kids or anything. Um, we're doing this so that we can continue the lifestyle that we live um, living on the road. It's just um, we don't have as much finances coming in as we did um, when we lived in our home and, and had a stationary job. So we just had to be really careful with that. Um, and so we're just finding that the $300 is honestly a bit tight for us. And we're still like, you know, purchasing very wisely and budget and on sale, you know, using lots of beans and rice and things like that. But when it comes to the everyday snacks, you know, I want my kids to have fruit. Um, I don't want them to have processed junk that is not good for their body because it makes no sense to me at all to have a super low budget and to um, be compromising my kids, my family's health. So um, so we've bumped it up now to $400 a month, which is still less than half of what we were, um, what we were budgeting before. I'm going to show you guys right now my favorite way of keeping our groceries within a low budget like that. This is a way that Aldi saves you money. It's simple. You're saving money by taking your own cart back so that Aldi doesn't have to pay somebody to do it. Um, I'm going to show you another way that Aldi saves money. At Aldi, you have to pay for your grocery bags. I bring my own bags. If you have your own bags, 
Um, you don't have to pay extra for your bags and it saves you money, it saves the company money. Um, they also have some boxes usually like that the stuff comes in, some big boxes kind of like um, Costco or Sam's Club and you can grab one of those if you want to but um, otherwise you're going to have to pay for your bags so don't forget your bags. and Aldi are sister companies. They have the same parent company. So you'll find a lot of things that are very similar um, for slightly less price at Aldi. One of them here is the salt and pepper grinder. So the same exact thing you find at Trader Joe's, but they're Aldi's branding. But they're the same exact packaging, just different branding. So I'm gonna pick some of those up. Here's a place where I can really get in trouble in Aldi. Every week, I think on Wednesdays, typically, they change out their stock of their special buys. And so you can see this whole section is all, all the way down to there, is all stuff that changes out every week. So you can come in here and be like, ooh, look at that, ooh, look at that. And they're always really, really good prices, but I just have to be careful because... Like, I see really good prices and I want to get stuff, even when I don't need stuff. It's better now that we're um, in the RV, because I just don't have a place for stuff, so. Um, so yeah, it's not, not so bad, but I do, I do like to look at the stuff. Oh, we've wanted one of these. Look at this. This is perfect for RV. This is like an eight foot folding. I think ours is only six feet. We don't need it though, because we do have one. <laughs> it's just smaller, like a folding table. I think that's really cool. One thing that Aldi has really been improving upon lately is their offering for baby products. So they have this, um, they've rebranded everything and they have a new baby product line called Little Journey. And so you'll see like, you know, healing ointment, $1.99. That's not bad. You can buy a bag of diapers. They have all these, um, you know, uh, baby pain medication. Uh, the diapers are really, really good prices. $4.99 for a pack of 23. That is really, really not bad at all. It's even cheaper than Target diapers. And we've gotten them before and they're not bad. So as long as we can get them from an Aldi, we probably will, because it's good prices. Um, they even have a lot of these like little organic fruit pouches and things like that, um, that are very competitive, if not like better prices than what you get at Target and things like that. So. All right, let's get to this. I got more. I got more stuff to get. In the produce section they're gonna have like the produce picks of the week they're special buys and they're always really really good prices so for instance this week red onions 79 cents really good so we'll get some red onions because I actually like them then look at this a dollar 49 for three peppers really good way to get produce in your diet without breaking the budget cucumbers are 29 cents I'll get a few of those. Cilantro is 25 cents. Look at that, 25 cents. Okay, so I also just found some really great meat deals this week. This is um, a, a half butt pork roast, $1.79 a pound. This makes really good pulled pork in the Instant Pot. $1.79 a pound is not bad at all. Then I found um, some mild Italian sausage. And this 
was on sale. It's normally $2.89. It was on sale for $1.99, and it's actually a pound, uh, a little over a pound. It's 19 ounces, and it works perfectly for spaghetti meat. So $1.99, that's really good too. And then they had a boneless beef bottom round roast for $2.99 a pound on sale this week. So $12.17 for a roast that will last us at least two meals, if not maybe three. So, great deals. Okay guys, this is what I'm talking about. The produce picks of the week. Here we go, check this out. 29 cents for avocados. And when they come to a price of 29 cents, we buy a bunch of them. <laughs> so, they're a little bit soft, so we might have to have guacamole like today. Or maybe I can freeze some of it. Somebody was telling me I could freeze avocado. I don't know how about how I feel about that, but I'll try anything once. Here's one of our favorite special buys that we got last time, and it's still here, so I'm going to get it again. This is a um, Bramer's Whole and Simple Antibiotic Free Chicken Quinoa and Kale Ravioli. It's $2.99 a bag, and it's made with antibiotic free chicken. We have found that two bags feeds our whole family, so that's like $6, a $6 meal. Here's another example of um, how the products are very similar between Trader Joe's and Aldi's, but the prices are drastically different. I just bought this same exact tuna fish. The pole in line caught skipjack tuna at Trader Joe's for $1.47 a can last week, and it's 99 cents here. So, I'm gonna stock up on that. It's good tuna, too. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be done now. I have my cart about as full as I had my Trader Joe's cart last week. Although, if you've been to Trader Joe's, their carts are much, much smaller. Um, so this is what my cart looks like right now. You can see that? See how full it is? Um, lots of meats and stuff up here. Um, and at Trader Joe's, I spent $200. It was almost exactly $200, I remember that. Um, so, we're gonna see how much this one adds up to. Anybody have any guesses? it a trunk full of groceries probably one and a half times the size of my cart from Trader Joe's last week and the total came to $158 I went to Aldi and saved a ton of money and it didn't cost me a thing except my time to take my cart back and also I brought my own bags and that alone saves Aldi a ton of money I love Aldi. I love their prices. I love their employees. I love their stores. They're nice and clean and they're easy to get through. They don't have a lot of stuff. That's a thing. It's like um, it's not like Walmart or Target where you have like a lot of stuff to choose from. They just have basics at really good prices and you know that you can always get the best price there. You don't have to comparison shop and wonder if you're getting the best price. You really are. Like I don't think I've seen prices like Aldi anywhere else. Here's a quick little tip that I just wanted to show you. I bought a whole bag of avocados. I think about 10 of them. And what I'm doing right now is, there they are, there's the big bag. I'm cutting them um, in half and taking the seed out. And then I am just kind of chunking them up right out like that. And then I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime in there and pull this, I'm just using the cup to, um, to hold my bag open. Uh, but I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime in there and kind of mix it around and just throw them in the freezer. Um, so supposedly this keeps for months and months. I can take it out, I can make guacamole, I can make smoothies. These probably will not last us months even in the freezer. Our kids will probably eat them. Um, so they'll last us several weeks though, maybe one month.